What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin from KT Music Group bringing you another reaction video. Uh, the, re the video I'm bringing you today is uh, I'm reviewing a song or reacting to a song by Parliament called Chocolate City from 1975. Um, I've heard this song before but I can't remember how it's, I have no idea what it's I can't remember it. I know when I hear it I'll remember it so I can't truly call it a first time reaction so this is like a first time in a long time I no not first time in a long time I haven't heard this in a long time reaction now, I might make that a category I haven't heard this in a long time so long that I can't even remember what it sounds like alright at the start so anyway we're gonna get into it I'm looking forward to it this goes out to Martin this request was by Martin, so I'm, I'm uh, giving him what he asked for. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share the video. Um, and without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Ha! <laughs> Immediately. I ain't heard it in a long time though. Yeah. Oh, what's this. happening, CC? They still call it the White House, but that's a temporary condition too. Can you dig it, CC? To each his reach, and if I don't cop, it ain't mine to have. But Seems I'll be like it's gonna turn in the game in on you a little bit. What I'm hearing right from my memory. There's a lot of chocolate cities uh, around. We've got Newark, we've got Gary. Somebody told me we got LA. Yeah. And we're working on Atlanta. Oh, you're the capital. Hey, hey, hey. I knew they was I knew they was gonna say gaming on you. Yeah, that. Or gaming on you. Know. Alright, they got a song, Parliament has a song called Gaming on You. And they say the hook just like that. But what I'm hearing is them saying gaining on you. In all these years, I thought they were saying gaming on you. Gaming on you. All right? Let's keep going. Feel my breath. Gaining on you. All up around your neck. <laughs> hey, CC. They say you jive and game and can't be changed. But on the positive side, you're my piece of the rock, and I love you, CC. Can you dig? It's kind of got a live music feel to it, like concert-wise. Hey, uh, we didn't get our 40 acres and a mule, but we did get you, CC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, where that 40 acres and a mule at? For real. <laughs> Moving in around, yeah. God bless CC and his vanilla suburbs. <laughs> Theme, I guess, the theme of the record is that uh, Washington, D.C. is a uh, chocolate city. The population is a uh, majority so-called black people. Uh, it makes sense now. I always wonder where the name Parliament came from. So maybe it's this um, idea of government and, you know, having a, having a so-called black city. You know, that's, that's what I'm getting from this. I wish I could hear that kick drum a little bit more in the mix. Yeah. What's up, man, Black? Brother Black. Blood even. There's <laughs> not really a hook where they say Chocolate City. It ain't really... Yeah, you know, it's just uh, just funny, man. George Clayton or the lead vocalist is pretty yeah. much just mentioning Chocolate City here and there. It's a concept more than it is a structured song. A blood to blood, a uh, players to ladies, 
The last percentage count was 80. You don't need the bullet when you got the ballot. Are you up for the downstroke? CC. Chocolate City. Are you with me out there? I ain't heard this in a long time. And when they come to march on you, tell them to make sure they got their James Brown pants. And don't be surprised if Ali is in the White House. And Reverend Ike, Secretary of the Treasure. A lot of good, a lot of nice stuff going on with the horns. I'm liking the horns. They kind of freestyling. There's no organized horns as a as uh, would be in a uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire song, Fire record. But you know, it's um. I did remember hearing George Clinton say in a uh, interview that even though he produces the records, he never tells the the, the uh, musicians what to do. And but when they do what they do. And he likes it. They kind of figure it out and it comes together. Sometimes it's freestyle. Some, sometimes it's mostly freestyle from what I've heard, my experience over the years. And sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's organized, uh, more organized. But it's always organized. Richard Pryor, Minister of Education. Stevie Wonder, Secretary of Fine Arts. And Miss Aretha Franklin, the First Lady. Are you out there, CC? A chocolate city is no dream. It's my piece of the rock. And I dig you, CC. God bless Chocolate City and its vanilla suburbs. Can y'all get to that? Yeah. Easy in. In your stuff. <laughs> Can't get enough. They always had a big, um, big voices. Filling up space in the, um, in the background, big background voice sound. And we funky too. Right on, Chocolate City. So this is kind of uh, a George Clinton uh, expressing his political uh, side and putting it into song. And there's a lot of music out there where they mix, they blend the music with uh, the p political landscape. First thing that comes to my mind, like um, Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Okay. So this is in that lane, okay? Yeah. Get deep. Here's some Miss Freestyle. Real deep. And George is just talking over the top. <laughs> if that's George. I'm pretty sure it is. George Clinton. Bernie Rowell doing his thing. Now that's Bernie Rowell style, what's going on on the piano. Yeah. I don't know if that's Bernie Rowell for sure, but I've been wrong. We just got New York, I'm told. Chocolate City by Parliament, uh, political song. You know, there, there's a lot of that uh, here and there over the years, 60s, 70s, 80s. Music you can find political in um, R&B, hip hop, even rock, rock and roll. They got their political uh, songs too. So uh, yeah, that's a uh, Chocolate City by Parliament. Uh, is there anything else you'd like for me to to react to? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. Until then. Oh, oh I didn't rate the song. Uh, I rate. This is definitely. It's a good song. It's got its purpose. It's a B-side song. Never, never is going to be on the radio. Uh, which I like. I wish the mix was more full in the bottom end. You know, I wish there was more kick drum. More bass sound. You know, uh, but maybe they did that on purpose to make the lead vocal, the storyteller, 
uh, maybe maybe they did that on purpose so the storyteller's voice would stick out and not get drowned out by the music. So and that makes sense. So I take that I take back what I just said. So anyway, uh, yeah, I get I get a song scale of one to ten. I'll do this scale of one to ten. I'll, I'll just give it a I'll just give it a thumbs up. All right, you know Parliament makes good music. You know they don't they don't really make any bad records. All right, shout out to Martin. Thanks for this. Thanks for bringing this back into my memory. I hadn't heard this in a long time. All right. So anyway, y'all take care. Remember, good music is in the ear of the beholder. Don't take my word for it. Decide for yourself. And uh, great music is timeless. Y'all take care. Peace.